PJ, the Heat got LeBron going in the post in game three. He was five of seven, 12 points, posting up Paul George. What stood out to you about his play in the post? Well, the thing about LeBron is he takes what you give him. And, you know, they, Paul George talked about kind of being out on an island. He's there by himself. He feels like he's by himself. And he's saying maybe LeBron's the best player. There's no maybe. He is the best player. There's four guys in position to help right there. They all have one foot in the paint. Doesn't matter. Turns baseline, shows the left hand. You know, you can see, kind of see Paul right there. His shoulder is just like, what am I supposed to do with this guy? Now we got Roy Hibbert's coming down. There's help. But again, if you know the help is coming from the top, Paul George, you got to force him back to the middle. You can't let him come baseline. There's the big guy ready to help you. Make him go that way. Don't let him turn back to the baseline. And whether that was Roy coming down on his own or whether that was a set play, cannot allow him to do the same thing right there, baseline again. Overpowered. There's he's going to turn baseline. It's the third time we've seen that move. You got to take it away from him and depend on your help being there. I think that will be the adjustment Frank Vogel will make. They'll they'll be ready with the double team if it's necessary. Maybe they'll front him in the post. The problem with LeBron when you double him, when you do something different, he can read it. He's not one of. To me, he's the most intelligent player, reading what's going on, and he'll adjust. All of a sudden, the Spurs, excuse me, the Heat three-point shooters are going to come into play. That, that tape right there was Friday the 13th. If you're, if you're preparing for <laughs> Miami, it just kills you in so many different ways. All right, so the Heat will try to take a 3-1 series lead tonight. Who wins game four, PJ, and why? I think Indiana's got a chance. The same way they bounce back in game two, I think there'll be adjustments. I thought Miami did a great job with their adjustments for that game. I think right now we'll see. Maybe Udonis Haslam's not going to make all his shots. Maybe Birdman's finally going to miss. I think Indiana will respond. they got to involve their bigs. There's no question it's going to start with David West and Roy Hibbert. They're certainly going to have to do a better job defending Le LeBron in a post. They know this is do or die for them right now. they got to take care of business in their field house.